How's it going everybody? This is Caster here with another Rust Electronics video. Uh, I've been requested several times how to show how to set up my home security system alarm without a receiver and broadcaster. So I have it here set up just basically hardwired right through my base. So I would not need any wireless transmission devices whatsoever. So how to set this up. First off, I've changed it up a little bit. I'm running my power to a main power switch. This switch shuts everything off. No power will go to anything if you shut this off. From here, I'm running this to an electrical branch. And this branch is going to power everything in this circuit. And the maximum power that I need for this circuit is 18, which isn't too bad. That's not expensive power-wise whatsoever. <clears throat> From this branch out, I'm going to run to a switch. This is the main power switch for my home security system. Run that to the electrical input on the bottom of the switch. This shuts it on and off. Okay, from there you take your output and you run it into this first electrical branch. You're going to need three of them in a row. Best to just keep them together. <clears throat> run that to the bottom of that. You're going to want to set your first one to six. The power out from here, you run to the next one to the power in of the next electrical branch. Set this to two. The next power out, same thing to this one. And again, this one is two. Coming back to the beginning, your branch out from your first electrical branch, run it to the bottom of your timer here. The second electrical branch, you're gonna wanna run down to this switch. And finally, the last one, you're going to want to run down <clears throat> to this counter here. So that powers up all these devices here. We'll come back to the timer now. From your timer, you can set this to however long you want your alarms and whatnot to sound off. Currently, I have it set to 10. You can choose whatever you like. Run the output to a splitter. From this splitter, I currently have a light an audio alarm, and then I have it set to send a signal to my counter to add one. So whenever this receives a signal, this adds one to my counter. So that's that. Coming back to this one, this power out that we're into this switch, you're going to want to take the output and run it to the clear counter of the counter. This will reset any uh, time you have an alarm trip. If you'd like to reset it, you simply need to flick this switch to set it back to zero. Finally, the last electrical branch that's running down to here, you already cooked, cooked up. I already mentioned that. Never mind. Ignore that. <clears throat> Your power out, you're going to want to run all the way across to another switch. You're going to want this because if you want to shut off the outside sensor, you can do that right here. From this output you're going to want to run to your heartbeat sensor. Now I'm seeing a lot of confusion with these. Guys, the only thing that this will do is send one power out whenever it signals per person. So if there's three guys right here and you have enough power, it's only going to send three power out. It's not going to you know send all of your power through. So do not connect a lot of stuff to this cuz it will not work. So anyways, the switch to the power in here, the power out, you're going to send all the way back to the toggle on your timer so that whenever someone trips at, it trips this timer and alarms everything else. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So let's test it out. So there we have it. It's added one to my counter, my light's going off, and my audio alarm's going off, and now it has reset because of the 10 seconds. Should I want to shut all this off, I simply hit this switch. If I want to reset my counter, I hit this switch here. And that's it. That is all there is to it, guys. Uh, any questions, feel free to comment. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I hope this helps out. Have a good day.